Hi everybody, my name is Chris Manson, I'm from Maine Matter, and I have here with me today Sergi and Andy from Ticket Solve, who have been backing the Embroider Initiative for the last six months. Uh, I have been working with Andy and sometimes Sergi on our uh, two-hour pairing sessions every week, and this is a kind of a catch-up interview, the second in the series of like what has worked well, uh, what have you liked about the initiative, and what you're looking forward to, essentially. Um, so I think we can just get started. Uh, Sergi, if you want to introduce yourself and maybe tell us a little bit more about why why you wanted to back the Embroider Initiative and what it means to you. Yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Sergi, the city of Ticket Solve. Uh, we are a ticketing platform operating in Ireland and UK for the moment. We have a small dev team. Uh, the front end team has only three members. I help them a bit when I have some time. Uh, we have three main apps, uh, all built in in Ember. One is huge, uh, the other two are also large. Our investment in money compared to the size of our front-end team seems very high, uh, but if we can prevent to refactor to another platform, it will save us a lot of resource time. So we believe uh, it was the right decision to make. Also, we've been using Ember uh, in Ticket Solve since the beginning for more than 10 years. All our, uh, all our background is also Ember. So every time we recruit someone is coming from Ember. Uh, so that it's, uh, it, it, it's the decision to make. We need to help Ember. Um, so we always felt that we needed to contribute back to the community. We are Ember lovers and we want Ember back to the top of the most loved JavaScript frameworks and the initiative seems to be uh, the best way to achieve that. So, Awesome. Thanks, Sergi. Um, Andy, uh, kind of swapping over to more of a technical thing, is there, do you want to introduce yourself first and then tell me something about what you've liked about what we've been working on for the last six months or anything I've helped you with? Yeah, um, hi, I'm Andy. Um, I'm senior engineer at Ticket Solve, um, also working on the front end team and yeah, um, focusing a lot on embroider and uh, channel our build system in the last six months. Um, yeah, we, we made a lot, of, made a lot of progress. Um, we gained a lot of in this, uh, pairing sessions and yeah, we basically started off with a simple list, like, um, make this migrate these apps to embroider and uh, got a lot of good guidance from you, Chris. So, um, yeah, it has been very, very helpful. And yeah, we are about to merge the, the, the biggest app with all the static flex enabled soon. So yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah, it's been, it's been a good journey. Uh, from my personal perspective, I think you came to the initiative with a lot already there. Uh, I think you're further along than quite a lot of companies like keeping up with embroider you already had one of your apps running with embroider and i think it was fully static i can't remember exactly but like the fact that after this first six months we've gotten most of the apps across the line it's pretty cool but uh, the initiative doesn't stop there what are we what are we looking forward to the most in the kind of next phase i think i know the answer andy but uh, <laughs> i'll let you answer it yeah, for the next phase, uh, definitely wheat, I, I hope, um, like um, getting those uh, instant builds, rebuild times, at least this would be really nice. Um, yeah, this would probably the biggest thing I would, I'm, I hope for. Yeah, I think uh, you and every other person in the Ember community has the same kind of uh, hope. Um, good news is we, we have a plan. Uh, even since my last one of these interviews with Intercom, we have more of a plan uh, and it's it's really going to start coming together in January. So hopefully we'll start seeing some progress on that. Um, at the moment, we are having these interviews and trying to encourage people to back the initiative. I'm wondering, uh, Sergi, if you have something that you might want to say to companies who are considering backing the Embroider initiative and maybe haven't made the decision yet or are like on the fence about it. 
Yeah, totally. Now is the time, guys. Um, you, you, Chris, have shown that the project needs uh, to be continued. Uh, it's a fact. The first months are the hardest ones, and look at all, all that you've um, well we've done. Uh, let's try to imagine what we can achieve now after the coding Ed's brain and having a dedicated team for that. Man, we can just go farther and farther. Ember deserves to be modern. Ember users deserve to use the uh, modern JavaScript tools. Let's let's remove some Ember magic. Uh, let's remove some Ember magic uh, that we always liked and build an even better framework. Let's be part of the Ember history and make a step forward to push Ember to the place it deserves. On top of that, your apps will be will be building faster. You will be able to use more open source, and the assets will be lighter. So <laughs> that is. It's easy. Go on. That sounds like a win-win-win to me. <laughs> exactly. Win-win. Um, okay. Well, I think that's a, a great note to finish on, actually. This is a real short and sweet uh, interview. Um, from my perspective, uh, if anybody wants to reach out to me, you can find me on uh, relate at mastodon.social, or you can uh, email me directly at chris.manson at mainmatter.com. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. If you're considering backing the initiative, you probably want to talk to Marco, but reach out to me and I can pass on details and things like that. And I want to say, uh, Sergi and Andy, thank you very much for coming on today. And I've had a blast over the last six months. And here's to the next six. Yeah, we do. We do. Thank you, Chris. And a lot of things. Yeah.